that rock and mudslide as part of I-70 closed, which we talked about. Westbound I-70 is closed at the bottom of Floyd Hill off Highway 6. One lane is able to get through often on ramps in that area, but traffic you can see here, it's backed up and this goes on stretches for miles. CDOT says crews are working to clean up that road, but there is no word yet on when they will be able to get this section of road now open. Let's now take it I-25 between Larkspur and Castle Rock. Look at this amount of water, huge amounts of water. Made the interstate look like a lake, so be careful if you're headed out in that area. Meteorologist Chris Spears now live in the Mobile Weather Lab. And Chris, you've been all over the front range today looking at all of this. You showed us what it was like in Aurora, and now you're down in Lone Tree. And you know, the flash flooding today, Karen, a couple of people got themselves into some real trouble. Look at this, this so fresh, the fire department rope is still connected to this Chevy Cruze that had two occupants. You can see the windows busted out as they performed this rescue here. This car was largely submerged as flash flooding hit parts of Lone Tree. Take a look at this video. Rob and I shot this outside the Mobile Weather Lab as this car was being submerged. We were on C-470 between Quebec and Yosemite, uh, the water simply overwhelming the storm drains, and you can see just how deep it was here on the right lanes of the highway. Back out here live, Rob is showing you the street. This is Yosemite. Look at the mud and the debris left. They'll have to get plows out here to clear that off. So we're talking a little while before the road reopens. You can even see how far up the water was on the sidewalk with the debris line here uh, just below my feet. We are live in Lone Tree. Happy to report these two occupants are safe. Meteorologist Chris Spears covering Colorado First. All right, Chris, we appreciate that. Don't forget you can get up to the minute weather information on the CBS4 Weather app. It is free and it is in your app store.